Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, Schmeck here. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Um, as right now for the foreseeable future, I will no longer be running M3s in any capacity. Um, I know that this has been kind of my main stream content as well as YouTube content that I've been uploading and just streaming. And I don't see myself running M3s on Nisa anymore. I don't see myself speed running to try and go for records. Um, I believe I'm just fully done with M3s right now. So I'm not sure what my plans are for the future right now with just playing the game and with content. But I wanted to give everybody a heads up as to what I will be doing from now on. And if, you know, you guys sub to me or you're following me or watching me just because, like, I'm doing M3s, um, just kind of a heads up that I'm no longer be going to do that. So I'll have some more. I'm going to go over a few things in this video, but, like, that's basically the announcement and the message. And I'll probably... We're going to go over a few things. I'm just going to play like my Forge VOD because we did a few Forge runs the other day. And I can kind of explain why I'm feeling the way I am. And why I think this update has just ruined the quality of life and a lot of the combat and skill that goes into actually running the dungeons. So, if you guys just came for the announcement, feel free to go, you know, and we'll probably just jump right into it here. This is like the first thing we saw, and I'm going to play this back a few times. But just like, watch the gravity well. Like, this happened in every run yesterday with almost every clump, where mobs are just like, teleporting. And why is my wrecking ball just tracking a mob that no longer exists? And it's not actually going where I'm aiming my camera? These type of updates and combat changes, like going through unnoticed at this point in the game, is it, it's really unacceptable. It, the game feels very awful and cl it feels slower to play, feels clunkier. Every ability and animation takes longer to come out and kind of stays for longer on your screen. So, you know, I'll play it back one more time, but. If this is how, like, every clump is going to be in the game now, I just see no reason to play. This is just disrespectful to anybody that wants to actually play the game. Um, I'll play this just because this is... I mean, if you're someone that's been into speedrunning, right, you'll know that this change right here is pretty egregious. But this cutscene is really long now. I think we had once or twice where I failed this just because you get stuck in the cutscene. I don't really feel any type of way about these parts or there's nothing really to show. Um, I think the next thing I really wanted to show is like in this part over here. But if we watch it back, like there's these new stun mechanics. Or like, I don't know how the mobs interact exactly, but we basically can't really like CC chain mobs anymore. So you'll see my, my wrecking ball here, if we play this back in like slow-mo, it actually hits every mob. So I should see like four damage numbers here, right? So we see four damage numbers and I think these two guys actually may have been gridded, but because of the way the new CC chain mechanics works, mobs kind of get like stun or knockdown immunity. And you can see that like, why did I wrecking ball and not a single mob gets knocked down? And this seemed to be happening consistently the entire night in a way that it's never happened before. And you know, we're gonna see it again right here. So like, I knocked down mobs there with my wrecking ball, but then clear out hits both of these mobs and doesn't work. A shockwave this guy at the end, he just... It doesn't work. Like, these are all issues we've had in the game for a really long time, but it's never been this bad. 
So again, right, like, you know, these mobs are knocked down. So you see my clear out hits both mobs. This mob's getting up. Not a single mob is knocked down. And then I'll shockwave at the end. Not stunned in any capacity. So like, these changes, man, are just... I think are going to be the worst part about running dungeons now. I mean, it we're removing almost, the, like, basically the entire skill cap of being able to run with a group is just being diminished. And it, it just feels so awful to play. I, I don't know, like, these things feel very disrespectful to people that have actually been playing the game since Legacy. And... It sucks when we have updates where not a single change feels good. I think uh, the other thing too is like, if we want to look at, you know, we had um, our great sword player. Oops, this is the wrong clip, sorry. It's not this one. You know, our great sword player, like, they also changed rupture, so this means that the entire meta around reclumping just, like, no longer works. I mean, rupture, like, these two mobs on the outside would have just been pooled directly to the named. Like, so now our entire meta around reclumping is kind of ruined, and it just feels like an additional form of disrespect. I took some other just like smaller clips earlier of kind of how rupture works now as well. But basically greatsword will no longer be utilized in the meta for reclumping. I mean you see this scout just doesn't get pulled in at all. And here's just another one from just like two clips that I took. Like there's no clump. These mobs used to just come directly into the player and it's no longer a thing now. I think the only other thing that I saw that like I really didn't like from a tanking perspective is that I feel like I get pushed around quite often now and this is even while like blocking I want to see if I have like so I think I did this towards the end of some of our runs yesterday I don't have a clip, but sometimes I would just sit here blocking and I just kind of get pushed. And it didn't really make me, it, like it feels weird if the meta is gonna be around blocking to be able to be like kind of pushed. It feels just very hard for the tank to hold their position. So I think there's kind of like a lot of things that we're frustrated about, but the lack of being able to chain CC, the inability to clump, the amount of like lag in between abilities and being able to like cancel actions. And then I guess like another thing too is like when I'm done with the skip, right? And like this is such a massive thing in running too is that we're, you know, you like look at this, right? Like I'm supposed to be swapping my attributes and everything just takes so long to load now. Like when I have to swap my, like, look at this, like, I, like why, do, why are these things taking so long to load? We have longer cutscenes, we have longer like menu interactions. It really is just diminished the, the quality of life from trying to play the game fast. So. Anyways, I think that's really it. Um, obviously, if you guys like have more questions for me or like what my plans are right now, you can let me know. Um, I think right now we'll probably be running Worm and the new Hive Raid. But as of right now, for me, I, I will no longer be doing M3s in any way. 
you know? Like, again, CC just doesn't work. Nothing stunned. Like, these are problems we've had for fucking three years since the game's been released and they're still not fixed. And if anything, they've been made worse with the combat changes. So, why can't I turn around in my Wrecking Ball anymore? <laughs> So anyways, I, I don't need to sit here and mauled for the entire day, but, you know, I think, again, I, the tanking changes are not the biggest deal to me. I think I'd be able to work around those. Um, a lot of just the slower gameplay, again, I think we could work around, but the inability to clump along with unable to keep mobs, like, actually chained in CC, to me, just removes a lot of the higher end skill cap. And the game just feels very clunky to play with the amount of desync and lag in between abilities. And you can't really trust anything anymore. Like, why can't I turn around in my Wrecking Ball there? You know, it's all these like little shadow nerfs and changes that happen to the game's lifespan. So I, I, I don't really know what's going to happen, guys. I, I don't think there's any reason to play M3s anymore. I, you know, the amount of loot you get along with just the awful gaming experience compared to how it used to be, even like just before the season updated. Um, in my opinion, M3s are completely dead. I, I don't think anybody's going to run them for fun. I don't think anyone's going to speed run them just because they feel so awful to play. And that really just leaves us with Worm and Gorgon Raid. And I, I don't know if that's enough content, basically. So... I mean, I just die here because I'm bad, but. I really think that Worm is going to get old quick, and I think Gorgon's going to get old quick. And at this point, I'm just not sure what the majority of PvE players will actually be doing in-game. So. Alright, that's it for me. If you guys stayed for the whole thing, appreciate you listening to me molding. Um, not sure what my plans are with this game. It might just be a quit angle, but... We're going to go forward from here and just see what happens. So see you guys in the next one. Later, later.